What's up guys? It's Bethany and Kristen with Girl Defined Ministries and we were talking, you know, just before we started filming and I know that a lot of times on here we're just really upbeat and trying to keep <laughs> things really positive, but we realize that there there's a lot of hard stuff going on right now mm -hmm. and I know just from the emails we've received and the messages that a lot of you are dealing with just hard things, not just in the worldwide pandemic sense, but just on, in a personal way, um, struggling with relationships or something really hard in your family going on, or, um, you know, maybe someone passed away and it's just been so difficult yeah. or a relationship broke up or you're dealing with a health struggle. Like we know that, mm -hmm. you know, just in the, the regular, in your regular life, there are just hard things. And then put on top of that, like a whole pandemic and not being able to really have the kind of community and support yeah. just everything that you need. Um, we just want to offer you some hope and encouragement today because it is hard and there is yeah. a lot going on. And we just want you to know, we, we see you and we know that you're struggling. Um, and we hope that some of this that we bring to you from God's word is an encouragement. To yeah, you. I know. We love the sisterhood and we love that you're here with us right now because I think there can yeah. even be a lot of hope found in community, online community, which yeah. is the Girl Defined Sisterhood. You, other girls like you from around the world gathering together to even watch a video like this, you know, commenting over on Instagram, yeah. um, just like being there for one another and encouraging one another. So I love seeing you guys do that in the comments, but mm -hmm. as a little way to encourage you to press on in whatever hard you're walking through right now, we have a shirt in our shop that actually says, sister, press on. Okay, I really like this. I know it's it's kind of like a, the color, you know, like maybe a burnt not. Orange or yeah, it's like you... a burnt orange. I really like it. Sister, press on. Um, I like the sun. It's just kind of like that reminder that God's mercies are new every yeah. morning. Today may be dark, it may be hard, but tomorrow um, there's new mercies for that day. And God gives us grace as we look to him to walk through whatever trials, challenges we're facing. And he's calling us to press on yeah. and to press into him, to hope in him. And so we actually want to give two of you this shirt that you can wear as a reminder for yourself yeah. and for everybody who looks at it. Um, how do you get one of these two giveaways? Um, head on over if you're not already there on our Instagram at Girl Defined and leave a comment just yeah. letting us know, um, you know, that this shirt would be an encouragement for you or just share an encouraging word to yeah. the sisterhood who's on there. And we're going to pick two winners over the next few days and mail one, two of you these mm -hmm. shirts. Can't get my words out. <laughs> So that's, you know, that's why we need that reminder, sister press on, because we're pressing on, whether it's pressing on just in mm -hmm. something actually like, you know, kind of hard or that's in your life, or maybe it's just yeah. a circumstance where, you know, dealing with difficult people, whatever it is, um, you're just struggling and we need that encouragement to press on, not just yeah. to push through, but to press on in the Lord and to say, okay, I need to press into my relationship mm -hmm. with God. I need to get into the word. I need to get into scripture. I need to meditate on scripture because God's strength is the strength that we need mm -hmm. to press on. We can't just press on on our own. We like, can't just say, try harder, yeah. just do better, have hope, like I'm wait. I'm going it up. And I think, yeah. you know, you're a great example of pressing on mm -hmm. through these many years of struggling with infertility mm -hmm. and all of the questions and the unknowns. And that's still an unknown, right. you know, big question mark. And you've had to press on. Yeah. Um, what would you say to, you know, and obviously we're all dealing mm -hmm. with our own things, but is there like a specific verse or a word of encouragement that really encouraged you to press on or has been yeah. and continues to be yeah. an encouragement to you to press on in hard times that could be relatable to mm -hmm. all of us? Yeah. So Psalm 138, 8 is a verse you've heard me talk about. Y'all probably heard me talk about this one a lot. Um, and actually it's on this sheet of really encouraging verses that we created specifically um, hope for our own hearts and hope for yours, 15 verses to give hope during hard times. And one of my favorite verses, Psalm 138.8 is on here and it says, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, mm -hmm. O Lord, endures forever. And I think that sometimes as Christians, we can get a little bit into this mindset of like, okay, like I know God is good, but like why are bad things happening to me? Why am I going through trials and hardship? Like this shouldn't, you know, I just want to have all rainbows and butterflies. And I have felt that so many times over the years, walking this long road of infertility and unexpected miscarriages and just going, Lord, like what is going on? This is really hard. Can I just get some blessings, please? Yeah. Um, and the thing that scripture reminds us of is that sometimes 
blessings are found in the trials because mm. God uses those trials like he has in my life, the the long seasons of struggle and still moving forward, just wondering what does the future hold? He's used this to push me closer to him. The very things that I'm longing for the most, God is using to draw me closer to him to say, you know, I'm right here with you in this. Um, you know, when I feel so hopeless and so confused and anxious about the future, I go to the word and I find so much hope. I'm, I'm pushed to my knees even more because I'm like, I've got nothing. I need God. I just feel so emotional and broken right now. I just, I'll, I'm just going to go to the Lord because that all, that's all I've got. And so God has used my heart to push me closer to him and it has become a blessing. It sanctified me. It's drawn me closer to him. And Psalm 138, 8 reminds me and you that whatever you're walking through right now, God has a purpose for it. Mm. It's not random. Yes, it may be hard. It may be sanctifying. It may be so challenging, but it's not random to God. He has a purpose in it and he's fulfilling that purpose. It may be as you're walking through it, God's using, he's refining you, drawing you closer to him. And that testimony is people look on and go, wow, how is she able to walk that with endurance? Like, what does she have that I don't like? How does she still have hope? Because her situation seems really hard, really yeah. hopeless. Um, so that verse reminds us God has a purpose. He will fulfill it. And then it just reminds me that your steadfast love, oh Lord, endures forever. Yeah. Even though we may feel like God is far away, which I have felt many times, we may wonder what in the world are you up to, God? He's reminding us that he, he has steadfast love and it endures forever. And so in the midst of our trials, we can trust his character. So that's one mm-hmm. verse. Um, but if you're like, man, I would love all of these reminders. Yeah. I mean, Isaiah 41, 10, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I mean, how often do we need that reminder when we're so scared and our hearts are just, you know, crushed with fear. God saying, fear not, I am with you. Mm-hmm. Imagine the power that one verse will have in your heart as it transforms your thoughts in that moment. Or Psalm 30. 418, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted, saves the crushed in spirit. Mm-hmm. 15 powerful truths to help you during hard times. And this is a, just a little printable that we created to give away to anybody who wants it. You can go to girldefined.com slash hope, girldefined.com slash hope, and you can download this. But I think keeping God's yeah. word, the truths of God's word in front of us, it will inform our mind of what's true, which will then translate into how we feel. Yeah. Yes, it may be hard and we're feeling heavy and weighty, but as our hearts are reminded of truth and our minds are renewed by truth, even though it's hard and heavy, this is what brings yeah. hope in the midst of mm-hmm. it. And something that's been really helpful for me is remembering why Jesus came. Mm. He came because this world is broken and because it's not as it was originally created to be. And so Jesus came to make a way for us to have a personal relationship with him and to have a personal relationship with God and and to access Mm. his word and through the power of the Holy Spirit to be able to understand it and find hope in it. And you know what? I love that it starts in Genesis and the perfect garden and then we end in Revelation where things are perfect eventually he will make things all things new and they are perfect again but we're in that in between time right now where it is hard Mm -hmm. but when I think and I look ahead and I say wow one day God's going to restore all of this it's going to be perfect again no more tears no more tears no more crying no more pain no more suffering we're going to be in that face to face walking with God like they did in the beginning in the garden and we're going to be with him again I just want to give you that word of hope to know Mm -hmm. like this isn't going to be the way it is forever. And even though it feels like it, you can have hope knowing that God, he cared about us so much that he made a way through Jesus Christ to provide a future hope for us. Um, So that's something that's been super helpful for me. And the way you find that sort of encouragement in your life is by going to God's word. And this downloadable is just a, Mm -hmm. a simple little downloadable, but it's, it has scripture on it. And that's what we need to get before our eyes. Scripture to give us hope during hard times to, to when all the world feels like it's crazy and just like a big ocean splashing everywhere. We have our anger. We have our source of truth and God never changes. He's the same yesterday, Mm -hmm. today, and forever. So that's our biggest word of encouragement to you to be to get in the scripture. Yeah. And if you're like, man, I love this sisterhood community. I love being a part of this. I would love to interact more and maybe even receive additional encouragement and help and hope. Well, can we just say a big shout out to everyone who's in our Patreon family? Because that is exactly what our Patreon family is. It's an online community, a private online community of girls who love this message and and want to get behind this channel and support us by giving a dollar or two dollars per video. And in return, we invite you to become a part of our Patreon family. And when you do and you give that dollar or two dollars per month, you join like a private group. Yeah. Inside Patreon, Girl Define, or sorry, patreon.com slash girl define. And in there we have fun Q and A's, 
we have fun questions, you know, conversations, quarterly Zoom calls, quarterly Zoom calls with our patrons. And then every single month as our way to encourage you um, and thank you for supporting us, we create free resources that are all downloadable. And I mean, look at just a few of these, how relevant for right now, fighting fear and worry. And it's a seven day prayer journal. And this, you get access to all of the past mm-hmm. freebies and all of the future freebies. Another one, true hope in Jesus. And it's 10 verses to bring hope. Each one is a full page, beautiful artwork that you can print and put around your room. And then, you know, we get into some other topics like 50 questions to deepen your friendships, mm-hmm. great questions to deepen your friendships. I'm losing my papers. Mm-hmm. Five strategies for thriving as a single girl and on and on. We've created a whole bunch of these and every month we create new ones. And it's a wonderful community inside Patreon to not only get free monthly resources, but to also have that community yeah. with other sisters um, and then to support Girl Defined. So if that sounds interesting to you, we would love to invite you to join us there as yeah. well. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us mm-hmm. today and we hope you're encouraged and just inspired to dig into God's word more and to press into that relationship with him. We want to encourage you, sister, to press on and know that God is the one who will give you the strength to do that. We'll see you next time.